Cup. Walks it out of the air and gives the Rams the lead. Robert Wood, touchdown, L.A. Goff goes crashing into the end zone. Aaron Donald almost beat the football there. Corey Littleton, have yourself a day. Picked off, Marcus Peters. Coming off the edge, and Ryan will be wrapped up by Clay Matthews. Everett in stride. Wow. Franklin Myers gets his hand down there. Little got a hand on it. Did he pick it? He did! Racing down the sideline is a key to lead. Gurley for MVP! Touchdown LA! Picked off by John Johnson. Well, Dante Fowler, who is able to get to breathe. Greg Zerline sends the Ram to the Super Bowl! Welcome, guys, to episode 273 of the Downtown Rams podcast. It's a draft season podcast. I'm your host, Jake Ellenbogen. Joining me, as always, is Alexis Kraft. This is the first podcast before I head out to Mobile, Alabama, to cover the Reese's Senior Bowl for Downtown Rams. So just real quick, if you're interested in any of that, you're going to want to keep it right here, downtownrams.com, or with the podcast web, all sorts of content and things like that. Um, also, if you didn't check out, we actually had kind of a curveball last week. Um, we brought on Anthony Jones Jr., the running backs coach from Memphis. So hope you guys checked that out and enjoyed that. If not, um, definitely check that out. He coached Daryl Henderson as well as you know basically building the running back factory that you know now at Memphis uh, with Tony Pollard and all those guys. So uh, check that out. And uh, today we have a really awesome show. Um, you know, really happy to have Josh Metellus on and, uh, you know, he was from Michigan. So if you know who, uh, he is, that's probably where you've heard his name before. Very talented defensive back. You know, we had a blast interviewing him as well as Logan Westcott from Arkansas state, uh, both defensive backs had a great time interviewing and, uh, we hope you enjoy the show. All right, guys, joining us on the Downtown Rams podcast, we have Michigan defensive back Josh Metellus. How's it going, man? Thanks so much for coming on. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, it's going good. Um, I'm just happy to be able to talk to you guys today. Yeah, we're really excited to talk to you. And just to start this off, we're just curious, how did you get into the game of football? Uh, the game of football? Um, I was a real aggressive kid growing up. And um, sports really help, you know, a lot with the aggression. And I tried a whole bunch of things, just like uh, boxing, um, stuff like that. But nothing really got my attention except for track and football. And, you know, I just decided to stick with those two growing up. Yeah, of course. And, you know, as obviously as somebody that went to, um, you know, Michigan, there are plenty of, you know, fantastic defensive backs that have gone there. Um, but I just want to know who your favorite NFL player was growing up. Uh, Ed Reed and Troy Palomalu is probably tied with them two. Um, they're amazing safeties, and I always try to model my game after them. Yeah, they're awesome for sure. Um, and, you know, as Jake kind of touched on, um, you played your college career at Michigan. Um, so we're just curious, what was it in the end that made you choose Michigan? Um. I really uh, like the coaching staff, um, especially the ones who recruited me, like Coach Partridge. Um, I really uh, enjoyed spending time with him. And then it made it easier when um, my two best friends from high school, you know, we played high school together. We um, we all three decided to go to Michigan together. So, you know, that made the decision way easier. Yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, as obviously, as many people know, you know, Michigan's such a prominent school. So that also probably had to, uh, you know, come into play. But I want to ask you, you know, playing at Michigan, uh, what would you say is your favorite moment, uh, you know, from your time there, wh- whether it be a play or a particular game? Uh, my favorite moment, I would have to say, uh, every so like every home game, running out of the tunnel and touching the banner, that that's easily my favorite moment. No matter what home game it is, that's that's easily my favorite. It's just electrifying, 110,000 people screaming, and, you know, it's just not everybody gets to be in that position. And, you know, it's something I don't take for granted. 
Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and, you know, just playing in Michigan, you got to play around um, so many good players, but you also played against, you know, a lot of really, really good competition. Is there any um, one guy or maybe a couple guys that you went up against in college who stand out to you as kind of being uh, the toughest players? Uh, so my freshman year, we played uh, Florida State in the Orange Bowl and Dalvin Cook. We played um, Dalvin Cook. And he's uh, right now, like if I had to say something on the top of my head, he's probably the best player I think I've played against so far, well, throughout my whole college career. Yeah, that's definitely uh, a good one there. Um, is there anyone, well, we kind of already answered this, but is there anyone really um, that you've like modeled your game after, um, you know, aside from Ed Reed and Troy Polamalu? Uh, I like the way uh, Jamal Adams play for the Jets. I really like the way he plays. Um, he plays the safety position. And, you know, I try to uh, come with that same enthusiasm and, you know, try to make, um, you know, plays just like he make them. Yeah, for sure. He's, uh, you know, definitely a, a big star and a great safety. Um, but, you know, just watching you and watching your tape, I think that you're, you know, a player of many strengths. But in your opinion, what would you say is your biggest strength as a player? Uh, probably either IQ or um, the ability to just move around to different positions. Um, I feel like, you know, I could play a lot of different positions on the defensive side, like outside linebacker, corner, safety, nickel. So I think that, you know, helps a lot, especially in the type of defense that we ran at Michigan. You know, we needed guys who was able to do a lot of things. You know, I feel like that helped a lot. So, you know, I would say that's one of my strengths. Yeah, and, you know, kind of looking at your game, um, you know, from a, a critic standpoint, uh, you are obviously your, your biggest critic. Most people are. Um, what would you say is your, your biggest, uh, you know, weakness, and what are you looking to improve on the most heading into the NFL draft? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't call it as – I mean, I just something I really want to focus on is explosion, you know, being able to get out my breaks. And, you know, so that way I can make plays faster and stuff like that. You know, I feel like that's a, a thing I could definitely improve on the most throughout this, you know, whole process until I, you know, wait for the wait for a phone call from a team. Yeah, for sure. And, and this next question is just kind of a fun question that we like to, you know, ask people just because we're curious about their answer. But um, which wide receiver do you most want to cover in the NFL? Ooh, uh, probably. Mm, that's a hard one. Okay, at this, I probably want to cover Tyreek Hill. I just want to see how fast he is. <laughs> you know, you see it a lot on TV. I just, I just want to know if he's really that fast. Yeah, I mean, when you ooze the speed that Tyree Hill has, I mean, it's almost like it's just not <laughs> even fair. Like you see him, he, he yeah. it's all a game to him. Like he's just out there having fun, and and you can tell like when somebody say like you know Demarcus Robinson catches a touchdown. And he's got like forty yards to go, and Tyree Kill is trying to like you know sprint and beat him to the the finish line, or rather the yeah. end zone. Like that stuff, I just get a kick out of it's 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 hilarious. But uh, <laughs> but with that being said, you know there's a lot of I mean you're coming into a league where let's be real here this is this is the passing league this is the this is the quarterback era um, if if there were any I mean you have you know Brady you have Breeze yeah. uh, assuming that they both come back next year. Um, you know, you have all sorts of guys, uh, you know, Mahomes now, Lamar Jackson, but who do you most at the quarterback position want to pick off in the NFL? Uh, Tom Brady, that's easy. <laughs> that's the GOAT. Uh, everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody, if they ever, you know, picked up Tom Brady, um, really, really appreciated that one, that one play because it's Tom Brady, you know, he does amazing things year in and year out. Um, and if I didn't want to, if I did, like, if I had to choose somebody other than Tom Brady, I'd probably go with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, He's been one of my favorite players growing up. Um, So, you know, I, I, it, would, it would be amazing to pick him off. Yeah, definitely both good answers. The The Brady answer, I would say, Jake and I hear 97% of the time because, you know, like you mentioned, he's the GOAT and, and everybody's dying to, uh, to pick him off. But, you know, in, in closing, just in your own words, um, who is Josh Metellus as a player, and who is he as a person? Um, I, I'm as a person, as a player. I feel I feel like I'm the same. Um, I'm very um, interactive. Um, 
I'm very um, intelligent in ways, you know, and I love to learn things about life, things about the game. And, you know, I'm just uh, a high, very high, intense person. And I just love, I love the things that I'm good at. And I love the things, you know, that make me happy. Hey, I mean, that that's that's awesome, man. That's what it's all about. And, you know, it's really been cool, uh, you know, getting to talk to you a little bit, you know, before obviously you, you enter this long step in, in your life, basically, because, you know, it's it's a huge step, um, you know, going yeah. to the NFL. And, um, you know, we wish you the best of luck. Hope to, you know, stay in touch and, uh, you know, all the best, man. You know, we're really looking forward to, to watching you throughout this draft process. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. Yeah, of course. You have a good one. You too. All right, guys. Joining us on the Downtown Rams podcast, we have Logan Westcott, defensive back, Arkansas State. How's it going, Logan? Thanks so much for coming on. Uh, It's going pretty good. Enjoying myself today. And I appreciate y'all for having me on the show. Yeah, of course. We're really excited to talk to you. And just to start this off, I just kind of want to hear a little bit about how you got into the game of football. Yeah, well, see, I grew up with four brothers, and my two older brothers started playing football at a young age. So it got me interested, and I started playing football around seven years old. And at the time, I was a quarterback, and I really took off from there, and I just started loving the game of football. Yeah, no, of course. And, um, you know, who was your favorite player uh, growing up? Uh, my favorite player was Michael Vick at the time, and then I also was a Steelers fan, so I was a big Troy Palomalo fan. Great players, both of them. Definitely, you know, guys who were fun to watch. Um, and so then obviously, you know, you played uh, football in high school, and then you ended up um, starting out your collegiate career at Delaware State. Uh, and you, you did a lot of awesome things there and then ended up transferring to Arkansas State. So what was the uh, main factor for you in choosing Arkansas State when you uh, decided to transfer? Yes, um, I'm glad you asked. Uh, when I decided to transfer, I was looking for schools that would best fit me and going to a program that was all about winning because that's what I was going to college for. I wanted to play for a winning program and contribute. So when I decided to transfer, I was calling schools and getting a few offers here and there. And then my high school teammate, uh, Dejan Emery, which was playing at Arkansas State at the time, he said, if you want to win, come to Arkansas State. So, I mean, that's what really sold me. And then talking to the coaches there really got me to go there, and the rest is history. Yeah, no, that that that's awesome, man. It's um, we've actually had uh, you know a few people on here from Arkansas State, so um, it's definitely cool to have you on here. Uh, definitely a program that's uh, starting to pour out some talent into the NFL. Um, you know, with with that being said, though, you know what would you say is your favorite memory, uh, play, or, or even game? Uh, from your time in college? Oh, that's a lot of great memories. Uh, I think um, really just going to bowl games and enjoying the time with our teammates is probably some of my best memories. But if I want to talk about one of my favorite games, it's probably honestly the last game <clears throat> of when we play FIU in our uh, latest game in the bowl game. I feel it was filled with emotions, and it was a good game throughout the whole game. And uh, just to really end the college career with a win, it's probably one of my favorite moments. Yeah, definitely. And you know, you played again. Uh, you played with a, a lot of really, really talented players um, during your time in college, but you also played against a lot of. Um, tough players is there any one player maybe two players that stand out to you as being um you know really tough uh, opponents you had to go up against in college yes um actually when I was at Delaware State I tell a lot of people this but my freshman and sophomore year I had to go against Tariq Cohen and he's (laughs) he's with the Bears now and I said that's one of the most like exciting players and hardest players and running backs to go against because he's so talented and shifty and whatnot, and you can see what he's doing in the league now. So I think that's definitely one of 
the hardest players and most fun players to go against in my college career. Oh yeah, Tariq Cohen is quite the talent. Um, NC and T, uh, somebody that you know he's five six. I know they were clowning him because of his uh, his height, but I mean he doesn't really care. You know he's he's very explosive. Can only, no, he <laughs> can only imagine what it was like to go up against him in college. Probably not fun. Um, what would you say? You know, just talking about you going back to you as a player. You know, what would you say is your biggest strength, Logan? Uh, I think my biggest strength, honestly, as a player, is just my versatility on the field, being able to play multiple positions and play them at a high level. And I feel like that's a kind of something I pride myself on because I feel like I can play any defensive back position on the field. I can play outside linebacker in a certain situation, and I feel like that's a big strength for me as a player. Yeah, totally. And, you know, um, at, you know, as the draft approaches, is there anything that you're looking to improve on or any particular skill that you're really focusing in on? Well, honestly, I was talking to some people and really just running, running a good 40 at a pro day and working on my speed. I think that's the biggest thing right now. I feel like I have the speed. It's just going to come down to technique and the fundamentals of running a good 40 and showing scouts what I got on on the on the skills test and the verticals and all that. Yeah, no, of course, and you know I know everyone makes a huge deal about the forty yard time, so you know I'm sure you're well aware of that. It sure sounds like that. Um, what wide receiver, you know, and and there's plenty of them in the NFL. You're you're coming to the league. It's a passing league. You know, you talk about Michael Thomas and, and what he's done consistently, and Julio Jones and guys like that. But um, what wide receiver do you most want to cover in the NFL? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, well, me being a safety, I might have to cover probably some of the slot receivers. But if I if I could pick a receiver to cover. It would be Chris Godwin. He's also a Delaware native, and he's been tearing up the league. He got all pro this year. I feel like that would be a cool matchup, Delaware versus Delaware guy in the NFL. (laughs) Yeah, totally. And he had a really good season last season as well, so he certainly, you know, I think would be a fun challenge to cover for sure. Um, And then this next question is kind of in a similar vein. It's just a fun question uh, I like to ask just out of curiosity. But if you had to pick a quarterback in the NFL to intercept, who would that be? (laughs) Well, all right. So my little brother, he's a Patriots fan. (laughs) And, uh, yeah, we have some disputes about Tom Brady. So I think it would be it would be very it would be very accomplishing to be able to pick off Tom Brady. Mm hmm. And I think that would be that would probably be a highlight of mine if I was to do that. Yeah, no that that's definitely uh, an answer we get a lot. Um, you know, he's arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. So, you know, it, it definitely comes up a lot, and it's a good, very good choice. But there, it's not as easy as it used to be with you know Lamar Jackson, you know, coming on the scene, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, all those guys. But yeah, I definitely hear you there. Um, and sorry in advance, uh, the fact that you had to deal with that. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I, I kid, I kid, but, uh, nonetheless, um, you know, we are a Rams podcast. So I do kind of want to pivot over and ask you just a question, you know, your thoughts on, you know, what, what did you think about, you know, the Los Angeles Rams this year? I mean, you know, just like looking at, um, their talent, um, I, for one thought that they were going to go pretty far in the playoffs. I know a lot of people, uh, also thought that, but there was a lot that felt like getting the Super Bowl and losing to, you know, the aforementioned Patriots um, would kind of derail their success and maybe, you know, they would feel Super Bowl hangover. But is that something that, that you felt was coming or, or you know, how how would you say? Um, To be honest, it's a lot that goes on in the season, so it's hard to tell. Mm. And I know uh, the Rams have a very talented defense, very talented offense. But there's a, there's a lot of factors that people probably don't understand, like outside looking in that could go on during the season to make a season not as successful as it should be or, or what they wish to be. But I don't I don't honestly don't know. Like 
was was the turning point for them this season to not be able to go for, as far as they probably wanted to. So that's just my thoughts on the Rams this year. But they're very talented on both sides. And I think they'll be fine in the future. Yeah, you know, that that's a good answer. And, yeah, I think there's a lot of people, honestly, who kind of don't really understand what happened with the Rams last season. It was certainly very confusing. But, um, you know, in closing, I just kind of want to ask, in your own words, who is Logan Westcott as a player and who is he as a person? Yes, as a player, um, you're going to get a leader on the field. I think a guy that has played the underdog role a lot throughout his career, somebody that's probably going to be the hardest working guy in the room, a motivational guy by example. And then as a person, I'm just a family guy, a family man that care about a lot of people and will do anything for somebody that needs needs help or that I think needs help. And I just love the Lord. Hey, I mean, that's a great answer. Um, you know, I think whatever team uh, that, that picks you up is, is going to be getting a, you know, a stud player and, and a stud person. Uh, Logan, we really appreciate you coming on. Um, you know, it means a lot. And obviously, we'll be following you uh, throughout your career and, you know, obviously throughout this process. So appreciate it once again. And, and let's stay in touch. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You have a good one. Y'all too.